this event was indeed one of the landmarks events in the history of the Armenian community in Canada. An event full of emotion, frustration, an event that took us back to our history and opened before us a painful chapter of our history. History is a continuous reality. History doesn't belong to the past. The present has its deep roots in the past. And we cannot create future without the past and the present. The past lives in present. And today, the, our past became a living reality in the life of all Armenians living uh, in this part of the world. Today, I believe that we have came here, all of us, as Georgetown boys. We have came here from different parts of Canada. The suffering and aspiration hope and determination, faith and vision of Georgetown boys in our hearts. We have came here as Georgetown boys to express our deep gratitude to the people of Canada. To say them, thank you. Thousands times thank you, Canada. for what you did to our boys. These boys became your boys. Canadian Armenian boys. They've found, encountered death and suffering in Turkey. But in this blessed country, they found joy, hope, Freedom, justice, peace, that is to say, life, in the most genuine sense of the word. At the most crucial juncture of our history, Canada saved these children. This was not, in fact, a humanitarian action in the ordinary sense of the word. This was indeed a concrete expression of Canada's commitment to justice and human rights. As Georgetown boys, today we say to Canada, thank you. Thank you for your courage to recognize uh, formally the Armenian genocide as the first genocide of the 20th century. What your parliament and government did was indeed a tangible and authentic manifestation of the determination and dedication of the people of Canada to justice 
peace and human rights. Canada became an exemplary example of what does it mean to work for justice. Nowadays, people, G8, G20, and others are very much concerned about security, about peace. As I said in the spiritual summits in Winnipeg, I repeat here, we cannot build peace without justice. We cannot have security in the full sense of the word without justice. We cannot have progress without justice. We cannot create the better world without justice. <laughs> Last but not least, today, as Georgetown boys, we came to remind the international community that prevention of genocide starts with the recognition of the genocide. Genocides that have perpetrated against people, nations, and communities. Unfortunately, genocides don't belong to the past. Even today, genocide in different forms, in different ways, uh, and in different places of, in this world continue. Therefore, prevention of genocide has to become a top priority to all religions, to all communities, to all nations and states. Therefore, the recognition of the Armenian genocide by the international community is a must. Any genocide is a crime against humanity. The Armenian genocide is a crime against humanity. It's a question of justice. It's a question of violation of human rights and international law. Therefore, today, through each of us, these boys challenge and remind the international community that you must accept the Armenian genocide. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, sir. Please convey our thanks and appreciation and gratitude on behalf of our community to the Prime Minister and to the government and to the whole people of Canada. God bless the people and the government of Canada.